Welcome, I hope you're blessed in the Lord today. This video, we're gonna to continue to talk about the order of salvation uh, from a disciple's perspective. I'm trying to make this as practical as I can. We're not going through too many passages. We're just trying to uh, lay out the experience of what it is like to come to Christ, to walk with him. In the, the last uh, video, if we switch over here to Acts chapter 20, in verse 21, Paul says that everywhere he went, he testifying to both Jews and Greeks of repentance towards God and a faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. So in the last video, we talked about repentance, that it was a, a turning from our war with God and turning back and seeking reconciliation with God, peace with him on his terms, namely that we would submit to his will and no longer fight against him and do our own will. And in the last video, that the last part of the last video, I mentioned that in repentance, we're turning away from our enmity with God, but it's through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that we that our reconciliation with God is secured, that our peace with God, our favor with God, our sonship in Jesus Christ is secured. So in this video, I just want to look briefly, let's go to John chapter 3 and look at this principle. Uh, it's covered very well in the Gospel of John. Let's start in verse 19. This is the verdict, that light has come into the world. Now we know that this light that's come into the world from a few chapters earlier in John chapter one, uh, it talks about the, the light was coming into the world. Verse six, there was a man that was sent from uh, from God whose name was John. This man came as a witness in order to testify to the concerning the light that all men might believe through him. He was not the light, but was sent in order to testify concerning the light. The true light, which enlightens every man, was coming into the world. So this light, is the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is the verdict that light has come into the world and men have loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So because men were in rebellion against God, against God the Father, that they were living in their own way, they weren't submitted to the living God. Because of this, when the light came, when God's Son came, they also rejected the light. They loved darkness rather than light. Verse 20, for everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed. In other words, an unrepentant person cannot come to Jesus Christ cannot come to the light of the world. Why? Because they don't want to be reconciled with God. They don't want to uh, have peace with God. They don't want to submit to God. Because of this, they want to remain in their own way. And so a wicked and rebellious person cannot come to the light. That's so why it says, for everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come to the light, his deeds, lest his deeds be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light that he may reveal that his deeds have been done in God. In other words, if someone is repentant, if their heart is submitted to the living God and they submit, as we read, that repentance towards God, if they repent towards God, then they will come also to the light. They will come to the Son of God, to Jesus Christ. Let's jump to John chapter 7, verse 16, to see this principle laid out here again. Jesus answered them, My teaching is not my own, but his who sent me. Okay, so... Jesus is saying, I'm speaking the words of the Father. I'm speaking what is from God the Father. So it goes on, verse seven, 17. If any man desires to do his will, he shall know whether the teaching is from God or whether I speak on my own authority. So in other words, if somebody desires to do the will of God, that is, they have repented. They're no longer living for themselves, but they want to live for the living God. They've repented towards God. Then they will recognize that the teaching of Jesus Christ is the teaching of God the Father. They will recognize that if they are going to follow God the Father, obviously they are going to follow God, God's Son. They are going to believe and trust in Him. As it says later on in uh, John chapter 14, verse 1, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So can someone turn in repentance towards the living God? and not trust in Jesus Christ? No, it is not possible. Because when we turn in repentance towards God, we are gonna hear the voice of God coming through Jesus Christ. We are gonna recognize the Father through his Son, Jesus Christ, because the Father and, and his Son are one. The Son is teaching the words of the Father. So if we're submitted to the words of the Father, then we will place our trust in the Son. So this is just a short video, but I just wanted to clarify and help us to understand how repentance and faith work together. Repentance comes first. We must turn from our rebellion against God, repentance towards God. But when we turn from our, rep our, our rebellion against God, then we're naturally gonna be led to Jesus Christ. There's no turning back to God except turning back to God 
through Jesus Christ because he has come to reveal the Father to us. He has come to make God known to us. It's through the Son, through God's Word becoming flesh, that we know who God is. So when we're seeking to turn back to the living God, there's only one way that we can turn back. It's through Jesus Christ. So we have repentance, uh, we turn from our enmity, and we turn back to God, and because God desires to pardon us, and then we turn back to God through Jesus Christ, and we receive adoption through him, justification through him, we receive the favor of God, and are restored to a right relationship and peace with God through him. So, repentance towards God, and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is how we are reconciled to God. Now, in the next video, God willing, we'll continue, and we'll talk about the issue of faith and repentance a bit more. God bless.